today's video we are again continuing our 5g sessions and today the topic is uh, nr numerology or the 5g numerology we know that in lt we have two different uh, type of subcarrier spacing used or two different kind of subcarriers that is 7.5 kilohertz and then 15 kilohertz so that was there in lte so we have limitation of only two however most of the network used to have only 15 kilohertz you know uh, subcarrier okay now in nr we have various type of wave dm you know numerology uh, starting from 15 kilohertz till 480 in some of the documents of 3gpp you will be getting the 480 uh, kilohertz subcarrier spacing also but uh, we will not discuss about 480 today we will be discussing till 240 kilohertz subcarrier okay so starting from 15 kilohertz till 240 so how they are obtained so we have a formula that is 2 to the power mu into 15 okay so this one is the formula through which we have obtained this different uh, subcarrier spacing or different subcarrier okay so these are in kilohertz so with 2 to the power mu into 15 if we uh, implement this formula where the mu value is 0 and it would be 2 to the power mu uh, 0 means 1 into 15 so it would be 15 then 2 to the power 1 into 15 would be 30 2 to the power 1 is 2 15 into 2 is 30 2 to the power 2 4 into 15 60 2 to the power 3 is 8 into 15 120 2 to the power uh, 4 is you know 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 times 2 into 15 that would be 240 kilohertz. So these are the different subcarrier spacing used in NR. So we have five to six subcarriers, type of subcarriers which is used. That is why we are able to, you know, uh, serve multiple subcarriers in one radio frame, right? So we have discussed that in our earlier episodes. Uh, you have to check all those uh, NR episodes uh, for those basic features. Now the cyclic prefix. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the basics. So in a symbol, we have to transmit symbol along with we keep some space for cyclic prefix. This is basically used to you know mitigate uh, the inter-symbol interference for the interference so that uh, because of delay in the symbol uh, you know reach little late or something. So the cyclic cyclic prefix will be able to compensate those kind of delays. So if uh, we are expecting any uh, inter-symbol interference or any kind of interference, so then cyclic prefix can help us mitigating that inter-symbol interference. So that's why in a total symbol time, we transmit the symbol and the cyclic prefix combined together. So when we talk about uh, the cyclic prefix, we have two type of cyclic prefix in LT, normal cyclic prefix and extended cyclic prefix. In normal cyclic prefix in LT, we used to have 0.5, 0.5 millisecond. Uh, for one radio subframe is one millisecond. Within that in LT, we have 0.5 and 0.5. Each 0.5 is having seven symbols. That is normal cyclic prefix. If we are using extended cyclic prefix, means the cyclic prefix is little longer for more robust you know mitigation uh, for the intersymbol interference then uh, this symbols will be reduced there will be six and six so one resource block with seven symbols and 12 subcarrier would be uh, 84 resource elements in LD for one resource block and then if it is uh, extended cyclic prefix okay then it will be six symbols that means six into twelve so 72 resource elements so that is the difference between normal and extended cyclic prefix but we are discussing about nr in nr it's a bit different we don't have two different subcarriers we have one symbol and 12 subcarrier is considered as one resource block that also we have discussed in our previous chapters and then uh, the one millisecond for different subcarrier spacing we transmit different number of symbols so just for your understanding this one is 15 kilohertz the first one wherein we transmit 0 to 13 that means 14 symbols right but if it is 
सबके स्पेसिंग इज थर्टी किलो हेड्स दे वी ट्रांसमिट फिफ्टीन सॉरी फोर्टीन प्लस फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी एट सिंबल्स ओके इन दिस पॉइंट फाइव मिली सेकेंड टू इंटू फिफ्टीन राइट सो द टाइम इज सेम बट द नंबर ऑफ सब कैरियर्स विल इंक्रीज बिकॉज हियर द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इंक्रीजिंग सो इफ वी आर ट्रांसमिटिंग सेम थिंग फॉर सिक्सटी किलो हर्ट्स देन फॉर सेम वन मिली सेकेंड वी आर एबल टू ट्रांसमिट फोर इंटू फोर्टीन सिंबल्स that much number of four times 14 symbols can be used in the same time so it will be more number of symbols can be transmitted if we are using a higher sub carrier spacing let's say 240 then we can transmit 32 different 40 number of symbols 32 into 15 okay number of uh, sorry it's not 15 32 into number of symbol is 14 so 32 into 40 number of symbols in the same time what will be second so that is the power of nr so with the same time because the frequency is increasing you can transmit more number of symbols okay so let's focus now on the table so cyclic prefix for 15 30 120 and 240 we are using norm, normal cyclic prefix okay and for the 60 kilohertz we can use normal or we can go for extended cyclic prefix okay only for 60 kilohertz now actual symbol length like i was talking about the symbol and then cyclic prefix so for actual symbol for 15 kilohertz we have the symbol timing 66.67 uh microsecond okay so 66.67 this much of uh Our time is allocated for symbol, and then 4.69 for the cyclic prefix. So you can see the in the 15 kilohertz. If I take this one as an example, so this particular symbol is combined with symbol and cyclic prefix, and the timings are this. For number two, wherein we have two different blocks of you know uh, 14 symbol and again 14 symbols transmitted for 30 kilohertz, right? so here we are using symbol time 33.33 so symbol time is reduced by half and then cyclic 